What's up, YouTube, and welcome to part two of choosing the best and the worst talents to use on your kid. In this video, we are going to be talking about Brave. So let's get right into it. For our first talent, we have Damage Resist. Now, this talent, it could work with Brave because you take less damage. Therefore, you won't get knocked down and lose your ability because you can't get caught if you have your ability every single time. On top of that, if you're slick with your movement, making the neighbor impossible to grab you, then he's going to try to throw things at you or even knock you down so he won't have to deal with your ability. And also, since the taxidermist is like a popular neighbor nowadays, you're going to need that because he is not going to try to grab you unless you're crawling on the ground. Our next talent is Sprinter. Running away in this game is key, so therefore you will need speed because not every neighbor is going to try to throw things at you or even try to knock you down sometimes they'll just end up grabbing you and just eat the ability also in most cases you won't even have the chance to run away because there are numerous neighbors that have the ability to catch kids that are running away from them but if you have a talent that makes you a little bit more faster then you would have more chances of getting away from those situations for Nimble Hands, you could use this on Brave since she's a fighting character, but I don't use it because I don't know what swing speed is, but the throw range for 15%, I don't, I don't know if that would really change anything, like 15% is pretty low, so I guess if you want to use it, you can, but it's pretty bad, but maybe y'all know something that I don't, like what makes this talent a good talent or maybe even useful now next on our list is strong hands for this talent i would not use if you're always by yourself or at least the last one surviving because you would end up wasting time since you're fighting a neighbor every single time he responds when you kill him or even if you're able to kill him and usually whenever there is a last kid they don't resort to fighting a neighbor they always run and hide so i would only focus on running away and hiding but if you're with like a team or a group then yes i would definitely recommend this so you can end up killing the neighbor quicker and finding those keys hmm jump high y'all know how i feel about this talent unless you know how to cheese the map then that would be that would be a good talent for you but if you're not trying to cheese the map just don't use this i don't even know how to cheese the map so i don't even use it for recovery speed, this is a good talent to use on Brave because getting knocked down is the last thing you want because you will end up losing your ability. So if the neighbor does end up catching you, you can use your ability to get out of this grasp and run away, scan for traps, throw items at it, deactivate some traps, and you will get your ability in no time. You're basically invincible if you do that strategy. For stun resistance, again, Brave is a fighting character, so you could use this, but the stun time doesn't matter it will not stop you from getting knocked down you'll just recover from the stun time so i would firstly prioritize the talents that stop me from getting knocked down first so i won't lose my ability and then get grabbed next is resistance to accidents for this talent i would still not use this because you know i got used to like avoiding traps so if you have trouble avoiding them then you could use this talent and learn how to avoid these traps using like a lamp and you know run around the map pretend you're getting chased and once you're able to hop around the map without stepping on any traps and you don't have to use this talent anymore using this talent is kind of like a phase it's something you don't want to use long term but maybe short term now lastly we have two of brave's personal talents readiness and emergency rescue let's start with readiness first for the talent readiness i guarantee a lot of brave players thought this talent was good and i me personally thought this talent was good but it's actually not it's not really that good and i'm about to tell you why so let's go on and read this talent real quick increases the initial number of charges and the counter strike by two now, if you are confused of what that means, Brave basically has five charges until she would get her ability, which 
makes her get out of the neighbor's grasp and that increases it by two so that means you're going to only have to disarm three traps instead of five at the beginning of the match but that's the problem because let's say you're using that talent and you already have your ability if you get caught and use your ability your charges become zero again you don't get that two back and that's also the case for when you get knocked down once you get knocked down all of your charges are gone and you're gonna have to get five not three that talent is basically a one-time thing in my earlier days of playing secret neighbor i thought that this talent would give me two charges for every trap i disarm but that was not the case so in conclusion this talent isn't really worth it because there are enough traps to disarm and deactivate to get your ability without the extra two charges now for our last talent is called emergency rescue now for me i don't use this talent i don't think it's good because 20 percent isn't really enough to take up a whole talent slot like there are many other talents you should be using instead of this one but i do have a clip where this perk would have come in handy but i don't really think the outcome of this situation wouldn't really change because 20 percent that's like that's like one fifth greater that's not really that good oh it's the taxidermist i would have got shot up anyways well it looks like we covered all of the best and worst talents you should use as brave tell me in the comment section what talent build you use as brave maybe you have like some op crack strategy that i don't even know anyways thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all have a nice day. Peace.